Before running any job on the CNC router, we must first safely secure the stock to the bed. The most common method is attaching the material with a brad nailer and composite brads. Composite brads are made of a plastic resin that won't damage the bit if routed. You should never use steel fasteners. If accidentally cut, they can mar or even shatter the bit. To load or unload the brad nailer, press in and pull back on the red tab until it locks in place. Brads are loaded and unloaded through the slot in the back. When inserting the brads, make sure the heads are upright. Slide the brads into the slot, then press and slide the red tab back into place to secure. The brad nailer is pneumatic, so it will need to be hooked up to the shop air to operate. To connect, simply press the male and female fittings together. They'll automatically lock in place. Place your stock on the CNC router bed. Check to make sure the stock is resting flush on the surface. Debris and old brads can cause the material to ride uneven and should be cleared away before fastening down the stock. Once the stock is flush, align your material squarely to the edge. Next, we'll use the brad nailer to secure our part. To use the brad nailer, firmly press the head to the stock, then squeeze the trigger. Remember to always practice nail gun safety. Now that our stock is secure, we are ready to run our job. To disconnect the pneumatic air from the brad nailer, pull back on the knurled portion of the brass fitting. Remember, if you have any questions or need help securing your stock, please ask any of our friendly TechSpark staff members. This is the CNT Motion 950 CNC router. Let's go over the CNC router startup procedures. To turn on the main power, flip the switch on the wall-mounted disconnect. If we look behind the CNC router, we'll find the machine's pneumatic regulator as well as the emergency trip line release. To reset the emergency trip line, pull the blue tab. To turn on the air, turn the red valve located on the pneumatic regulator. Check that the main wall regulator reads between 90 and 120 PSI. Open the side panel on the monitor console and turn the computer on. Close the side panel to prevent dust in the computer. Turn the key to release the emergency stop. The next steps must be done in series. Press the green button on the monitor console. Next, switch on the master power, followed by the global enable. At this point, we should close the safety curtain. It is important that the curtains remain closed whenever the spindle is running. On the computer, launch WinCNC. In the WinCNC command console, select Warm-Up. The machine will engage. While the machine is moving, always remain outside the caution tape perimeter. The router will extend its head to the absolute X, Y, and Z limits. Once the CNC router has found its limits, it will then select tool 1 and run through low, medium, and high spindle speeds. This warms up the ceramic bearings in the spindle and prevents cracking. This step is crucial to prevent damage to the machine. 
Warm-up takes approximately 8 minutes to complete the full cycle. After spindle warm-up, you will be prompted to check the main air pressure levels. They should read between 90 and 120 PSI. Press Enter if correct. You will then be prompted to check the spindle air pressure. The gauge should read 62 PSI. Press Enter if correct. The warm-up is complete and you may now start your job. It is important to know that if the machine sits idle for more than one hour, warm-up must be run again. When your job has finished running, it is time to remove the stock from the bed. Check to make sure the job is complete and successful. Parts cannot be rerun once removed. To remove material fastened down with composite brads, we will need a mallet and a pry bar or a large flathead screwdriver. Never use a metal hammer as it could potentially shatter the handle of the pry tool. Place the blade of the prying tool flat against the edge of the stock and at an angle of about 30 degrees from the table. Begin to wedge the pry tool under the stock using firm taps from the mallet. Work your way around the edges of the stock. Gently pry up the material as you go. Be careful not to get overzealous while prying up the part. Thin wood and delicate parts can crack easily. Continue working your way around the edges until the stock is entirely free. Be careful of sharp brads sticking out from your part and the table. These can be easily removed with a quick tap from the pry tool. Make sure to sweep up or vacuum any debris left on the table. Parts can be removed by cutting through the tabs with a bandsaw or handsaw and finished before final assembly.